Hey there, Segudo golfers. Tom Segudo here with a little known Ben Hogan tip that will take your golf swing to the next level. This Ben Hogan tip was hiding out in a cave somewhere and we're unveiling it today. It's gonna give your golf swing more club head speed, crispier contact, and tons of consistency when you add it to your game. Let's get started. If you watched the last Ben Hogan tip I did, you'll know that we were talking about the movement of the lower body initiating the downswing. It's the most important part of the golf swing per what Ben Hogan was saying. Well, the most important thing in a golf swing to me is the movement of the lower body from the top of the swing. The lower body starts and the shoulders and arms follow, attaching that string from the hip to the club here, and the string gets pulled, the club gets down into a shallow position in the downswing. It's a great way for the amateur golfer to eliminate that chopping over the top move that causes your slice problem. Let's face it, causes like all the problems in your life because that slice kills your game. This tip is extremely profound because it was hiding in the same lesson that Ben Hogan was giving us. Ben, share with us this really profound golf advice. At the top of the swing, you move the lower part of your body, not your shoulders, the lower part of your body letting your arms and hands follow, bringing you into position to hit. But this is the first movement there. Then you release at the bottom. Let's recap what he just said there. He talks about the downswing being the most important part of the golf swing in that tip. But on a smaller level, the downswing sets us up to get the club in position to hit. Bringing you into position to hit. Those words right there echo a ton of meeting. Getting the club in position to hit. When he talks about releasing the club at the bottom, that's the hit. The hit is extremely powerful. He's not sitting around letting the club just flow through nice. He is giving it all he has with his dominant arm. This is why he said, if I start the downswing correctly, I mean the club gets in a good position here, it is in a solid position to hit. He wished he had three right hands, three dominant hands. When you hit something, do you use your dominant arm? I bet you do, take a hammer into a nail. It's very intuitive for you to hit hammer into a nail, right? It's the most powerful. In today's golf instruction, you're often taught to the opposite, use your lead arm. But this causes you to hit with the weaker arm, the arm that you never use. And this has led to people losing considerable amounts of power and accuracy. And Hogan's right there telling us. Bringing you into position to hit. If I can start the downswing correctly, I can get in position to hit. You see, if I get the club in that position, it's foolproof, it's going to work. This is the position the club always needs to be in in a downswing for me to be consistent. Approaching through the lower middle part of my back right here. Every pro gets in this position. No matter what their backswing is, whether they loofed it up here and they drop it down, they get into this position no matter what. The position to hit. What does this mean? It means that your arms play a significant role in the golf swing. The arms are often forgotten because instruction today tends to emphasize everything being used with the body. And while I'm a fan of using the big muscles as much as possible, this little nugget from Ben Hogan shed some serious light on what it means to hit the golf ball with authority. This is one of my favorite drills because it trains you to hit the ball with the wrath of God. Send all your energy to the target. Where is your energy going in the golf swing? Are you sending it down to the ground chopping like this? Are you wasting all your power and effort on the ground? Or are you sending the club through the ball, mashing it, and sending the energy more targetward? This is the idea of the drill. What we're going to do is simulate the Ben Hogan downswing by doing the most important tip, which you saw recently. So we're gonna to go to the top of our backswing. You're gonna start the downswing to here. You are now in the position to hit. Make sure that when you do this, that the club is approaching through the middle lower part of your back here. So it should be in this position right here. I can't emphasize this enough. If the club is over here, you cannot hit. You can't hit anything. Imagine trying to hit a hammer into a nail at this angle. <laughs> it's very difficult, right? But to hit a hammer into a nail from this angle, it's very easy. That's why this angle of approach into the ball is so crucial for you. So when you do this drill, make sure when you start the downswing with the lateral motion hip toward the target first, the club gets here. 
that lateral motion will take care of the club path initially, right there, because you have the string attached from your lead hip to the butt of the club, which pulls the club into position to hit. I'm gonna say that a ton of times, I can't emphasize it enough. So we're going to start the downswing, and then I want you to actually hit using your dominant arm first through the golf ball to the target, sending all of your energy to the target. Don't think about anything with the body, just think about the arms after you've started the lower body here. Just arms. This idea is what gives you speed at the bottom of the golf swing. The peak area of speed in the golf swing is not at impact, it is through impact right about here. And if we can create more speed here, you're guaranteed to have more speed at the ball. This drill's doing that for you. Top of back swing, lower body leads, hips to the target, and then you're in position to hit, hit. I feel an intense amount of speed from here to here. That's what you should be feeling, acceleration when you get in that position to hit. Once you do that, take some full swings and just feel like the only time you're going to hit, you're gonna pull the trigger, is when the club's down here through here. Once you've got the downswing started correctly, you got the club in position to hit, hit it hard with the arms on the way through. To give you an idea of what I'm feeling, this is delaying the hit. What do I mean by that? Because I've started my lower body, I'm not actually hitting till down here. Most amateurs do the opposite. They hit from the top, hit. You try and hit the ball from the top. In golf, we don't hit from the top, we actually hit from the bottom. So this lower body leading gets you into position to hit. This is so powerful on many levels. Consistency in that this is the most repeatable angle to approach the ball from, so no steepness, no chopping from here. Very powerful, very direct. And then, secondly, access the power of swinging on a circle, hitting the ball on an angle instead of chopping down like this. And you're using your dominant arm. Spanked it. Thank you, Mr. Hogan. I've now added an alignment stick for this drill. I don't want anybody to go steep, go over when they do this. You've got to start the downswing the right way, so to added protection here. When you start the downswing, the club should stay under the stick, and then you hit. That's just an extra layer of helping you practice more effectively. So we take the golf swing to the top, start the lower body toward the target, and then hit. I'm not worried that I hit the stick down here on the way through the hit. I'm more so looking at that from a top of back swing and start of the downswing perspective. Here we go. Oh, that felt good. Really adding speed at the bottom. I want you to do that. Now that we've done the drill, let's dive even deeper into this amazing Ben Hogan tip. There's another tip Ben Hogan talks about involving the same type of action, and that is the hitting motion of the downswing, where he's got a basketball and he's taking the basketball back to the top and he's chucking it to the target. And that's the power release he talks about. Some people think it's the rolling of the hands. Power does not come from rolling of the hands. I can roll my hands and do nothing, absolutely nothing. Rolling the hands changes the club face. This is a power release. Then you release at the bottom. Why is this all related? Because it has to deal with the notion of I've started my downswing and now I've got a hit. That's the power release. And it has to deal with this folded trail arm, the folded dominant arm, extending aggressively, violently through impact. That's speed. If I did not extend these arms through impact aggressively, I would have a lot less club head speed through the ball. That's just me doing my body, doing nothing with the arms. But I force those things through. Give that dominant arm a go. I'm hitting the middle of the target, by the way. It's not like it's going all over the place. It's hitting the middle of the logo. There's control here. Right in the middle every single time because you can throw that basketball as hard as you want while guiding it. That dominant arm is guiding. Just like in basketball, you shoot in a basketball, dominant arm is propelling it. 
that dominant arm has complete control over the power and the direction of the shot. So as long as I know to send that basketball through extending violently to the target, it's gonna be a good day. So let's build upon this. Next drill I want you to do. Take a basketball, a watermelon. I've got a watermelon drill, by the way. This is my favorite type of drill. It really trains every motion of the downswing. The sheer weight of the basketball forces you to hit at the right time. Because this has weight, it guides the body back and through. If you were using a watermelon, you'd feel even more what I'm talking about because when you heave an object back and through, the object has to direct the body. The body goes with it because you've got force going with the object. Basketball is a great training aid. All you got to do, grip the basketball, make sure your hands are parallel to each other like this. And then in the swing, you don't rotate the hands at all, none of this. You wouldn't do that with a watermelon. It'd be really heavy if you did, oh, the watermelon would fall. You would keep it like this and chuck it back through. It's the most efficient direct route. Now look what it does to the body. Back, hips have turned to the back swing. On the way through, because this has weight, as I send the energy through, the hips begin moving laterally first and then turning. And at the last second, I'm releasing hard, but the release is the trail arm extending. It's not the turning over. Let's check this out in slow motion. Can you see that? That's real speed. You can create this with a basketball. Release it into the target really hard. Once you've started your downswing correctly, lateral to the target, send all your energy to the target with the trail arm guiding through to the target. Look at that. You've got complete control. Not only that, you get tons of speed. Segudo so golfers, what do we take away from this episode? One, we take away that the downswing's role is to put you in position to hit. Starting a downswing correctly, like in that one episode I showed you recently, gets the club in that position. And then today we talk about the hit itself. Hogan's three right hands, the dominant hand, the most underused arm and hand in golf, yet it's your most powerful. It's the one you've been using your whole life to hit things. So why not use it on a golf ball like we use it in all other sports? And then secondly, we've got an excellent drill, the watermelon drill, the basketball drill, synchronizing up the downswing by using a basketball, learning how to accelerate and get the most speed on the way through the impact zone by starting with a nice folded trail arm here and exploding it through the golf ball. Gets the whole body and arm synced up into one powerful motion. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like it, comment down below if this helped you become a better golfer. This channel is all about helping you make the most out of the game you love in a body-friendly and simplified manner. Check out some more awesome Segudo Golf content. Here is the Hogan video from last week. There's my online golf school where you can learn how to play your best golf right now in simple three to five minute videos. Subscribe here in the corner and then some other awesome Segudo Golf content to help you play your best golf right now. I'll see you in a future episode and have a rockin' week.